Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create texture mapping for an object using the UV editor and uh, other tools uh, to get the work done. So we'll create a new scene. I don't say it doesn't matter. Go to show grid. So we have our grid comes. So we'll start by creating a polygon cube and we're going to scale it one and two times and we're going to scale it one and little up. So that would be our wall. Okay, we're going to create a stone wall so let us make it a little thick. Hit the space bar and in the front view we'll put it on top of the grid here. Okay, so it lies on top of the grid. Uh, we'll assign a material. So right click, assign new material, and we'll use the Lambert and we'll name it wall. Okay, so we'll assign a texture to it. So click here and find an image. I'm using a stone wall image. So I went to Google and looked for a stone wall. And I found this image. So I'm going to use this one. Uh, hit the six key on the keyboard, and you'll see the wall popping up on your screen. Okay. Now we need to map this wall the way we want. Okay. So to do that, what we need to do is under modeling, you go to UV, and we will first click on automatic mapping. Before we do that, let us look at the UV editor. Okay, so this is the UV editor. You can see that we what we are doing is we are wrapping a two-dimensional image onto a three-dimensional object. So what we have done is we have opened up the three-dimensional object to make it two-dimensional. All right, and then it is placed on the image in a certain way. So now we need to change how things are placed. For example, if I click on this button and then if I drag, let me see which one is this one so this one is here and if I click on these vertices I can change the way the image is mapped onto that face okay if I click on this you change this side you can see that the part of the image is shown up here uh, but what we need is when we select the UV shell we need to be able to select each cell shell separately okay so right now we are not able to do that so for that we need to add some mapping to it so you go to uv mapping and then we'll use automatic all right and once you do auto automatic all these shells uh, become individual so now you can individually place these shells wherever you like okay so I'm simply moving it out of the window here within the image but it is tiled around you can see that the same image is tiled so at no matter where they are uh, the image will be placed but what our job is to put all of these within this space okay so we have complete control over how we do things so we'll go to face and select this one and now we'll place this one here and now you can see that i will place it on this so you can see that it's this one here and now you can either use the scale tool to scale it and place it where you want onto the brick wall okay so we got half of this brick and two of these full bricks or you can move it around and decide which one you want there okay so I'll, i will stick to this one here and i will scale it further out move it out okay so say this is how i want my image to look and then I can use this scale tool to maybe have 
I want this stone to be completely full so this looks better to me now we will try to align this face so that this stone continues here here and here okay so th this one is this part and then now we will put it on exactly the same stone so you can see that uh, it's not looking so good we are not sure which stone it is on because it's too wide so we make it narrow because we want this black stone okay so this black stone is there and now we'll try to align it on top and then we'll align it at the bottom as well okay and now it is mapping properly on all sides so now it looks like a three-dimensional wall and then we will have to do the same thing on top okay so we will find go to the face select this face and it will correspond to this part and again we will make it narrow so we only see that particular stone and it's not looking right i think we need to rotate this so if you rotate it And make it exactly the same size as the other one and now you can see that the lines are matching up so this one will go here and this one will go here and we'll align this one here yes yeah, so this becomes one complete stone this stone is matching, this stone is matching. And I'm only going to do these three sides. Now your job will be to place these on top of here. So bottom is never going to be seen. Uh, in case it's a freestanding wall, you may have this side. So you should only always work uh, on areas that will be visible by the camera. So if you have a still image, and this is going to be your camera angle so this does our job so we don't need to do anything extra all right so that's what i'm going to leave it to so you can see that our stone wall looks good all right so that's how you do texture mapping in maya stay tuned for more tutorials bye bye